Chapter 346 Clan Gathering The Great Yan Province It could be considered as the Great Yan Empire's most bustling province, because the Great Yan Province was also known as the Royal Province, and the imperial capital of the Great Yan Empire sat within this enormous province. When talking about area, perhaps the Great Yan Province was not as vast as the Great Desolate Province, but it was the place with the greatest concentration of powerful practitioners in the Great Yan Empire. Moreover, some of the Great Yan Empire's true top-tier factions were located here. Compared to these factions, the Great Desolate Province's ghastly puppet cult, Great Devil Sect and other factions were indeed a little lacking. From a certain point of view, the Great Yan Province could be called the core of the Great Yan Empire. When Lin Dong walked out of the deep mountains and gazed at the region before him, a strange feeling arose in his heart. In many Lin clan branch family members' eyes, the Great Yan Province was a holy land in their hearts. Many branch family members strove all their lives to break away from their branch family status to become a true clan member. Among them was Lin Dong's grandfather, Lin Zhentian. However, Lin Dong had never intensely felt this kind of feeling. He was not in reverence towards the humongous Lin clan, and only felt a sense of unfamiliarity. If it were not for Lin Xiao, Lin Zhentian, plus the numerous grudges with Lin Langtian, Lin Dong would not even bother to take part in the so-called clan gathering. However, in everything that happened, there were no ifs. The current him was very much looking forward to the clan gathering. In the old tomb two years ago, Lin Langtian had solely relied on his aura to oppress Lin Dong to a sorry state, but now, it was likely that the pressure from the former's aura was already unable to move Lin Dong's body at all. Two years of training. He was already no longer the youngster who needed to hide his hatred for Lin Langtian deep in his heart. Let's go. Head directly for Lin City. The clan gathering should start tomorrow and it's really going to be quite a rush but we should be able to make it. There were two main cities in the Great Yan Province, the first was known as the Imperial City, where the Imperial Capital was located, while the second was known as Lin City, where the Lin Clan resided. The fact that Lin City was able to stand side by side with the Imperial City was testament to exactly what kind of status the Lin Clan had in the Great Yan Empire. Lin City sat in the northwestern area of the Great Yan Province and was a bustling area that was easy to access. This city was also truly one of the finest cities in the Great Yan Empire. Regardless of whether it was grandness or liveliness, the number of cities in the Great Yan Empire that could compare to it would not exceed the number of fingers on one's hand. Currently, Lin City was practically the most bustling place in the entire Great Yan Empire. Countless practitioners and factions had rushed from everywhere, causing the population of Lin City to reach a rather terrifying level. Of course, this popularity was naturally due to the Lin clan gathering organized by the Lin clan. In this clan gathering, all of the younger generation Lin clan and branch family members would show off their prowess here, and the champion's name will instantly be known to the whole world. No one doubted the talent the Lin clan possessed because in each clan gathering, the final victor would always stand at the summit of the Great Yan Empire. Lin City was extremely vast and majestic. City walls that were several hundred of meters spread outwards, further than the eye could see. There were elite Lin clan guards both inside and outside the city. These guards all had powerful presences and stern eyes, clearly a well-trained bunch. In Lin City, one had to restrain one's temper no matter what faction one hailed from, because this place was under the rule of the Lin clan. From a certain point of view, this place was the Lin clan's personal territory and was not owned by the Great Yan Empire. At the center of Lin City was a battle arena so tremendous that it would cause one to stare in awe. The battle arena took up almost tens of thousands of meters, a grand and majestic sight. A boundless atmosphere seemed to soar into the skies, causing one to involuntarily gasp in admiration. This giant battle arena that could accommodate millions of people was where the most important clan gathering of the Lin clan was held. At this moment, the incomparably titanic battle arena was already overflowing with people. The black mass of the crowd spread outwards, countless voices converging together before directly soaring up into the clouds, 
causing even the clouds 10,000 meters in the air to be torn apart. The battle arena had inner and outer areas. The outer areas were for normal people, while the inner areas were for the various famous practitioners and factions in the Great Yan Empire. In this place, one would be able to see practically 80 or 90 percent of the Great Yan Empire's top factions. Even in the Great Yan Empire, factions that were able to do this were rare. The center area of the battle arena was exceptionally fantastic. It was not an ordinary plaza but an extremely humongous conical space. The upper area was narrow while the lower area was wide and was filled with several hundred enormous platforms. These platforms were very clearly split up. The higher one went, the less platforms there were, especially at the highest point which was practically on the same level as the gigantic battle arena. There, stood only a single platform. Evidently, the participants of the clan gathering needed to ascend from the lowest platform. On the platform at the very top, one would have a showdown with one's final opponent. At this moment, there were already figures criss-crossing on that unique site within the battle arena as wave after wave of vigorous Yuan power erupted. Evidently, the clan gathering had already begun. Xian City Branch Family, Lin Dongtian wins. Lin Clan, Lin Hua wins. The atmosphere in the humongous battle arena fiery to the max. Countless eyes converged on the young people from the Lin clan and branch families. When every firm low shout rang out, a deafening cheer would accompany it because this was the sound that decided victory or defeat. Bang! Vigorous Yuan power suddenly exploded on an arena. Soon after, one of the two criss-crossing figures was directly blown back in a sorry manner, flying out of the arena and heavily landing on the ground as he immediately vomited a mouthful of fresh blood. Lin Clan, Lin Yang wins. Yan City Branch Family, Lin Hong loses. Upon hearing the cold shout that rang out, countless gazes immediately shot towards the figure that had been blown out of the arena, some of them containing traces of mockery. Creek. Under the attention of these gazes, the figure on the ground immediately clenched his fist tightly. Useless Branch Family Trash, still thinking of fighting with this young master. Humph, you are from the Yan City branch family right? Your branch family produced a very arrogant Lin Dong? Truly a piece of trash that has an exaggerated opinion of his own abilities, yet he still stare to offend big brother Lin Lang Tian. Ha, let me review some news to you, in this clan gathering, your Yan City branch family will not pass even a single battle. On the arena, a youth in embroidered clothes sneered as he looked down on the figure below. It will be better for you to obediently roll back to a lousy place like Yan City and tell that trash called Lin Dong, there are some people that he cannot afford to offend. You're the damn trash. The figure abruptly lifted his head, his eyes blood red. That familiar face was actually Lin Hong. The current him was incomparably furious as he glared at the youth looking down upon him from above. His figure moved and was just about to charge up onto the platform but was directly flipped over by strong wind that gushed over in an instant. You've already lost the match and have no right to ascend the stage again. Beside the youth, a middle-aged man appeared as he coldly glanced at Lin Hong and said. Lin Hong crawled up from the ground. Just as he was about to crazily charge up again, two hands stopped him. He turned his head to look and found Lin Zhentian and the rest. Grandfather. As he looked at Lin Zhentian, Lin Hong could not help but be somewhat ashamed as he lowered his head. Go sit down first. Lin Zhentian's body seemed to be trembling a little. The jeers and mocking gazes that shot over from all around caused him to once again return to the day eight years ago. Fortunately, he had experienced too much and his aged face did not seem to be affected too badly. However, Lin Hong still heard a sense of powerlessness in his voice. The party slowly turned around under many gazes in glee at their misfortune and returned to the very remote corner seats that had been prepared for them. From the position of their seats, one could tell that they had a very low status here. When Lin Hong returned to his seat, he saw another figure also seated there and was a little stunned as he said, Lin Xia, you lost. The figure lifted her head 
a pained smile revealing itself on her pretty face as she softly sighed. Don't mind it too much, it is not your fault this time. We have been targeted. Lin Zhentian sighed and consoled them. Father, what does that mean? Upon hearing this, to his side, Lin Xiao's and the rest's expressions immediately changed as they asked. Did you not see, Lin Hong's and Lin Xia's opponents are from the main clan, and their strengths had reached the form creation stage. This kind of odds do not appear normally. Lin Zhentian bitterly laughed as he continued, Furthermore, take a look again at the seats we have been given, these are practically the worst of all the branch families. Now, among the four places we have, Dong Er has yet to appear so we can only depend on that last kingdom next. Over these two years, her progress is not slower than the Dong Er at that time, Lin Zhentian lifted his head and looked towards an arena in the distance. A the slender and elegant figure in light green was there, looking quick and agile like a fairy, a beautiful sight in this humongous arena. In the current Lin family, there was only Kington who had yet to suffer a defeat. Father, don't worry. When Dong Er returns, all the humiliation will be taken back. Lin Xiao gently patted Lin Zhenchen's shoulder and consoled in a low voice. When he heard this name, a gratified smile revealed itself on the old man's aged face as he slowly nodded his head. He was waiting. Lin Xiao was waiting. All of them were waiting. Waiting for that person's return. When that time came, they would stand proud and happy. Chapter 347, Powerful Kington Several pairs of eyes locked onto the far northern corner of the peculiar large conical arena. Of course, the reason why most of their attention had gathered here was because of a young lady's appearance. The lady was dressed in simple yet elegant green clothes and she had a slim and flexible figure. Her skin was soft and jade-like, and though she barely wore any makeup, her beautiful eyes continuously darted around, inviting several sons of the clan to stare longingly at her. After all, even in the entire Lin clan, there were hardly any ladies that could compete with her beauty and aura. In two years, the little girl that had always tagged along with Lin Dong like a shadow had finally become a prim and proper lady. This young lady was naturally Kington. The young lady stood silently in the middle of that arena, paying no attention to the commotion around. Occasionally, a pair of intelligent eyes would turn to look at the surrounding skies. Unfortunately, the figure that she had constantly longed for in her heart did not appear. Yan City Branch Family, Lin Kington Chao Battle Lin Clan Member, Lin Feng In the middle of the arena, a middle-aged man glanced at Kington as a little awe flashed across his eyes. Even an experienced and worldly man like him was attracted to the young lady's extraordinary beauty and aura. However, as if he recalled something suddenly, he involuntarily shook his head secretly and solemnly echoed out. Swoosh! As that middle-aged man's voice faded, a wind sound instantly echoed in the arena. A figure nearby dashed over, performing a suave somersault in midair and landed deftly in the middle of the arena. The figure was approximately 20 years old and was fairly good-looking as well. He was dressed in silk robes and he looked just like a rich princeling, giving him a slight advantage in terms of looks. After he landed on the ground, he also revealed a gentle and kind smile towards Kington. It seems like he wanted to display his graceful demeanor. However, the fiery passion in the latter's eyes told him that his wish was going to be unfulfilled. Lin Clan, Lin Feng. Lin Kington. Kington calmly glanced at Lin Feng, before she gently furrowed her beautiful brows. She had realized that Lin Feng was actually an advanced qi creation stage elite practitioner. With this kind of strength, he would be considered fairly strong even in the entire Lin clan. Why did she encounter him immediately? Haha, <laughs> Sister Kington, please give me some pointers. Lin Feng smiled gently as he said. As he stared at Kington, he secretly felt somewhat regretful in his heart. If his opponent was not from the Yan City branch family, he could perhaps go easy on her and let her pass. Unfortunately, before the clan gathering began, Lin Langtian had already instructed them not to let any Yan City branch family member pass through the first round. 
Lin Dong is really a reckless and stupid fellow. Of everyone to offend, why did he choose to offend big brother Lin Lang Tian? Now, he has even implicated his whole branch family. Lin Feng silently shook his head as he secretly chuckled inside his heart. Oh shit, Kington's opponent is actually Lin Feng. In fact, that fellow is considered to be an elite even among the entire Lin clan. It is said that he has successfully broken through to the advanced Qi creation stage. Even though Kington has improved by leaps and bounds over the past two years, she is merely at the initial Qi creation stage. Her odds of victory this time around is fairly slim. Seated in a secluded corner of the stands, Lin Zhentian and the rest looked at Kington's opponent, their expressions suddenly changing. Seems like someone is deliberately plotting against our Yan City branch family. Lin Xiao's expression was grim as he solemnly said. It must be that bastard Lin Lang Tian. Kington previously mentioned that he had a grudge with Lin Dong. That bastard truly does not intend to let us off. Lin Mang gritted his teeth as he spoke. Be quiet. Do you want to ruin all of us? Lin Zhen Tian commanded in a low voice. What was Lin Long Tian's status in Lin Clan? Based on their current abilities and status, the latter could easily ruin them with a single thought. After he was scolded by Lin Zhentian, Lin Mang could only unwillingly sit down. Don't panic. That last Kington has improved tremendously over these past two years. Previously, she went to the deep mountains by herself to train for a year, resulting in her direct advance from the perfect Yuan Dan stage to the initial Qi creation stage. Based on her strength, even if she faced Lin Feng, who is one rank higher than her, she should be able to handle him. Lin Zhentian opened his mouth as he consoled the group. Right now, both Lin Hong and Lin Xia had been defeated. If Kington was disqualified as well, the Yan City branch family would become the first faction to be completely eliminated. That would be simply too embarrassing. When they heard Lin Zhentian's words, Lin Xiao and the rest also nodded their heads. Right now, they could only count on Kington's performance. Get ready, the competition is about to begin. Under the attention of countless individuals, when that middle-aged man in the arena saw that both parties had arrived, he also gently nodded his head before he promptly waved his hand and shouted out solemnly. Boom! The instant the middle-aged man's voice faded, an exceedingly powerful Yuan power vibration instantly erupted from Lin Feng's body, demonstrating the full prowess of an advanced Qi creation practitioner. To Lin Feng's front, Kington gently lifted her long and beautiful arms before a similarly formidable Yuan power shockwave emerged. However, what caused everyone to be shocked was that Kington's Yuan power was filled with an icy sensation, just like Millennium Ice. Haha, <laughs> with me, Lin Feng, standing in your way, your Yan City branch family will be the first ones to be sent packing. Lin Feng laughed heartily, before he promptly stomped his foot on the ground. His figure swept forth as formidable Yuan power quickly gathered at the center of his palm. Dry Wind Palm After Lin Feng executed his palm attack, a vicious and maniacal wind quickly materialized beneath his palm, bringing with it a formidable Yuan power vibration as he thrust his palm towards Kington. As she faced Lin Feng's attack, Kington's beautiful face remained calm. Her slim and elegant fingers jutted out as two streams of cold Yin Yuan power formed into a swirl at her fingertips, before swiftly tapping against Lin Feng's palm. Bang! Palm and fingers collided, as an exceedingly formidable energy shockwave instantly swept forth. Though Lin Feng was at the advanced Qi creation stage, he was actually unable to gain the upper hand. What a peculiar Yuan power! After his attack was countered, Lin Feng's brows gently furrowed. Even though Kington's Yuan power was not as potent as his, her attack was extremely formidable. Previously, that cold Yin Yuan power not only easily ripped his palm wind apart, but it even tried to tunnel into his body and damage him. However, he was eventually able to stop it. After blowing Lin Feng away, Kington did not give the latter much time to rest. Immediately, her beautiful figure flashed while her slim lily-white hands, which were wrapped in cold Yin Yuan power, became sharp like blades as she attacked Lin Feng's vital points. 
Boom. 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 As he faced Kington's attack, Lin Feng coldly snorted before he swiftly stepped forward and fought back. As the two of them exchanged blows, Yuan power continuously flowed. In mere minutes, the two of them had fought for nearly a hundred bouts however, what caused everyone to be shocked was that even though she face a powerful advanced qi creation stage practitioner, Kington was never on the losing end. This scene allowed a nervous Lin Zhentian, Lin Xiao and the rest to stealthily heave a sigh of relief. Bang! After their palms collided, Yuan power violently swept forth causing both of them to continuously retreat several steps. It seems like they were evenly matched. You are quite skilled indeed. It seems like I cannot be negligent at all. If I really allow you to pass, big brother Lin Langtian will surely blame me. After his figure was blown back, Lin Feng's eyes slightly darkened. Promptly, his eyes turned cold, before he stomped his foot against the ground. Under the stares of the crowd, he directly leapt into mid-air while streams of powerful Yuan power quickly unfurled from within his body. Today, I shall show you branch family members what clan martial arts are. Lin Feng arrogantly hovered mid-air while he moved just like a dragon snake. His fist danced as he moved, causing several blurry figures to appear as an exceeding domineering force quickly swept across the entire sky. Dragon Elephant Overlord Fist Formidable Yuan power quickly gathered under Lin Feng's fist. Finally, it faintly formed into the shape of a dragon elephant. Meanwhile, an unconcealable domineering aura swept forth. In fact, even the sound of a dragon's roar and an elephant's grunt could be heard. After all, dragon elephants were extremely vicious beasts. Hence, his fist truly had the scent of a thousand beasts descending. One could tell that this martial art was fairly famous in the Lin clan. Lin Feng's actions obviously drew the attention of several clan members. Especially when they saw that Lin Feng had actually been forced to execute Dragon Elephant Overlord Fist, a tinge of shock flashed across their eyes. Kington lifted her head and stared at the Dragon Elephant Overlord Fist that Lin Feng had executed as a serious expression arose in her eyes. She could also sense just how powerful this martial art was. Immediately, she did not dare to negligent at all as her beautiful lily-white hands gently crisscrossed before they spread out like a lotus flower. Buzz buzz! As her hands formed into a peculiar seal, cold yin black yuan power suddenly gushed out from within her body. It swiftly gathered on her palm before it transformed into a several meter large black ice lotus. Heart lotus seal, crushing the heart and soul. Kington's mouth opened slightly as a cold voice rang out. Soon after, an alarming cold chi erupted from within the black ice lotus, before it howled forth. Under stares of the crowd, it solidly slammed against Lin Feng's dragon elephant overlord fist. Boom! A loud sound echoed in mid-air. Lin Feng coldly smiled as he stared at the point of impact. Based on his advanced chi creation strength and the fact that he had used this grade 8 martial art, dragon elephant overlord fist, no one in the Lin clan, who was at the same cultivation stage, could rival it, let alone a Kington who was merely at the initial qi creation stage. Crack crack! However, Lin Feng's sneer did not last for long, before it suddenly froze. He had seen layers of black cold qi suddenly gushing out from within that black ice lotus. Instantly, his dragon elephant overlord fist froze before it turned into chunks of black ice. Boom! Large chunks of black ice instantly exploded as countless sharp ice shrapnel shot out, filling the skies before flying towards Lin Feng. Bang! 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 Countless ice shrapnel exploded in front of Lin Feng as threads of cold yin qi quickly attacking his body, as if they wanted to freeze his heart and blood. Buzz! Kai! -ai. Under countless bewildered stares from the crowd, Lin Feng fell hideously from the air and immediately vomited out a mouthful of fresh blood. Within that mouthful of blood was actually some black crushed ice. You have lost. Kington softly said. Lin Feng's expression was grim as he wiped the blood and ice at the corner of his mouth, while a maniacal glint flashed across his eyes. Promptly, 
his fingers pressed on a dark red pill that had appeared between them before he immediately popped it into his mouth. After the pill entered his mouth, a hideous scarlet red instantly gushed up in Lin Feng's eyes. Promptly, his aura began to start turning savage, while maliciousness flowed within his eyes. Like I said before, your Yan City branch family must be the first ones to be eliminated. I did not plan to do this, however, you are the one who asked for it. Chapter 348 Lin Dong's Return As she watched Lin Feng's aura suddenly become berserk, Kington's pretty face slightly changed while her icy voice sounded out, you plan on violating the rules. According to the rules, any pills or foreign objects that amplified one's power was banned in the clan gathering and one needed to rely on one's own strength for every battle. Lin Feng's actions were undoubtedly breaking the rules. Hehe, <laughs> it's not use if you're the only one that sees it. Upon hearing this, Lin Feng laughed maliciously. Soon after, he cast a glance at the middle-aged referee at the side. The latter's expression fluctuated for a moment before slowly taking two steps back. Although Lin Feng's actions were against the rules, he had done it exceptionally stealthily. Except for him and Kington, who had seen him swallowing the pill, everyone else was unable to clearly see anything due to their angle. Lin Feng had some status in the Lin clan, plus, he even had some relationship with Lin Lang Tian. Hence, this caused the referee to not dare to offend him, and thus choosing to close an eye in the end. When she saw his actions, fury flitted across Kington's beautiful eyes. These clan members were indeed big condescending bullies. Lin Kington, there are no grudges between you and me. If you want to blame someone, blame that trash, Lin Dong, from your Yan City branch family. To actually dare to offend big brother Lin Lang Tian. Ha, he should take a look at himself. Trash like him daring to fight with big brother Lin Lang Tian, truly foolish and reckless. Lin Feng slowly stood up, his hand clenching as traces of faint black cold chi was forced out from his body, while he stared at Kington and sneered. You're courting death. When she heard Lin Feng insult Lin Dong, an ice cold killing intent immediately flitted across Kington's pretty eyes. She was now no longer the little girl that needed Lin Dong's protection for every matter. My strength can temporarily reach the half-step to manifestation stage, although the repercussions will cause me to lie in bed for half a year, as long as I can complete Big Brother Lin Longdian's task, the benefits I obtain will be countless times greater than the loss. Lin Feng laughed as specks of scarlet red dotted his eyes. Evidently, he was using the power of the pill to forcibly squeeze out all the energy in his body. Admit defeat, such a pretty lass. I am truly a little unwilling to hurt you. Lin Feng's eyes were somewhat lustful as they swept across Kington's exquisite and fine body. Kington's face was ice cold while her pupils silently stared at Lin Feng. Without speaking, her lily white hand lightly twirled as faint black ice cold Yuan power suddenly gushed out of her body. These cold Yin Yuan power were like dancing black pythons as they twisted around Kington's body. While revolving, they emitted waves of astonishing Yuan power. Extreme frost freezing heaven palm. The faint black cold Yin Yuan power screamed. Kington's palm furiously thrust out, immediately causing vigorous Yuan power to gush towards her, directly transforming into a gigantic ice dragon that was several tens of meters large. With a sky shattering howl, it brought with it an ice cold bone cutting cold chi as it charged towards Lin Feng. Crack crack. Layers of ice started to form wherever the gigantic ice dragon passed, while a formidable cold aura spread outwards. Humph, I've said it before, the current me is already able to match a half-step to manifestation practitioner. How can you possibly fight me? Lin Feng looked down from above at the incoming ice dragon as mockery flitted across his eyes. His hand abruptly grabbed out as a giant Yuan power hand took shape at the center of his palm and firmly grabbed the ice dragon. Explode. The Yuan power hand suddenly gripped, instantly causing the ice dragon formed from Kington's cold Yin Yuan power to explode into cold mist. The current Lin Feng was like a war god, every gesture of his was filled with extremely overwhelming power. This scene drew many odd looks and several people were guessing why Lin Feng's strength had suddenly soared. 
Among them, some were able connect the pieces together but no one said anything. After all, compared to Lin Feng, some of the branch family members' status were too low and it was not worth it for them to speak and offend those of the main clan. On some golden seats in front of the battle arena, a young figure sat. He was the youngest person there but the surrounding people were not the least bit dissatisfied with the fact that he could sit there. Because, he was Lin Lang Tian. The most dazzling son of heaven in the current Lin clan. At this moment, Lin Lang Tian unenthusiastically cast a glance at the arena Lin Feng was it. After Lin Feng consumed the pill he had been given, Lin Lang Tian knew that the fight was already over. The three participants from the Yan City branch family will be eliminated in the first round. This would undoubtedly cause them to become the most humiliated and useless branch family in this clan gathering. Lin Lang Tian gently held the teacup in front of him as the corners of his mouth lifted in a sinister manner. Lin Dong, a member from a petty and low branch family, dared to futilely challenge him? It was likely that he did not even have the guts to show up today. Cold bone corroding poison. When the ice dragon exploded, a soft groan sounded out from Kington's mouth as she took a small step back. Soon after, her hand seals once again changed as the cold mist from the explosion actually rushed towards Lin Feng once again. Moreover, the mist aimed to tunnel into the pores all over his body. Useless actions. However, Lin Feng merely sneered and shook his head at Kington's valiant resistance. His foot stamped on the ground as a violent Yuan power hurricane swept forth, forcibly dispersing the cold chi that was surging towards him. The situation in the arena had practically reversed in an instant. The originally losing Lin Feng had swiftly turned the tides and gained an absolute upper hand. How is this possible? How could Lin Feng's aura have suddenly become so much stronger? Lin Mang gnashed his teeth, ashen faced as he watched the sudden reversal in the arena. Lin Feng must have used some method to increase his power. Lin Xiao's face was also a little ugly. If Kington lost, they would become the first branch family to be completely defeated in this clan gathering. Father, what now? Lin Ken also wore an anxious expression as he asked. Lin Zhentian slowly shook his head, his old face seeming much older in this moment. His voice was somewhat hoarse as he replied, Someone is deliberately embarrassing us. There's nothing we can do. Now, he was already completely certain that someone had set this up. Or else, it was not possible for the Kington trio to meet such troublesome opponents in the first round. Moreover, these opponents were all from the main clan. Upon hearing this, Lin Xiao and the rest turned silent as rage boiled in their eyes. They had put in God knows how many years of effort into the clan gathering this time. Could it be that they will still fail this time? If this is all you have, the match today will end in my victory. Under the attention of numerous gazes, Lin Feng gazed down upon Kington and faintly laughed. He no longer had any plans of dragging this out as his current state could not be maintained for long. If any change occurred due to him dragging this on, it would definitely draw Lin Longtian's fury, something that Lin Feng was rather terrified of. Having made this decision in his heart, an icy look flashed in Lin Feng's eyes. Soon after, his hand clenched as formidable and berserk Yuan power screamed out of his body. These Yuan power gathered in front of Lin Feng, once again transforming into a dragon elephant in the blink of an eye. However, this time, the size of the dragon elephant had grown several times, and its body was increasingly concentrated and solid. Evidently, its power was far from when it had been displayed previously. Dragon Elephant Overlord Fist The dragon elephant took shape as Lin Feng roared. As his fist flew forward, the air above the arena instantly exploded. The explosions up in the air left hole after hole on the arena below. In the face of Lin Feng's ferocious without equal attack, Kington tightly bit her red lips. Her slim lily white hands swiftly changed as a circle of faint black cold yin yuan power flowed out, condensing into a gradually blossoming ice lotus above her. Bang! The titanic dragon elephant fist descended, ruthlessly slamming into the ice lotus, but this time, the ice lotus did not achieve the effect it had before and instead started to crumble under the formidable force. Break! 
In midair, Lin Feng coldly shouted as the ice lotus immediately burst apart, transforming into cold mist that drifted away. Ugh! When the ice lotus broke, a soft groan sounded out from Kington's mouth, but she still stubbornly stood on the spot, unwilling to retreat. Since are not going to admit defeat, don't blame me for being vicious. Upon seeing Kington's stubbornness, Lin Feng's eyes turned cold as the dragon elephant fist descended once again. This time, it viciously slammed towards Kington's elegant figure. Elder brother Lin Dong, are you still not going to show yourself? As Kington watched the incoming formidable fist force, she did not immediately move to defend herself. Instead, gently lifted her tiny head, looking at the sky as her lovable voice shouted out. Lin Dong? Humph, even if he is really here, I'm afraid he won't have the balls to appear. Lin Feng sneered. However, just as his voice fell, a hearty thunder-like laughter boomed over from the distance, bringing with it sky-shattering Yuan power undulations and a tyrannical aura, appearing in the sky above the battle arena in the blink of an eye under countless gazes. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. With I, Lin Dong, here today, no one can hurt you. Yuan power that filled the sky screamed, after which, a shooting star flew over. Countless people watched as a young figure appeared in the arena like a ghost. Dong Er. The instant that figure appeared, wild delight arose in the eyes of Lin Zhentian, Lin Xiao, and the rest, while their bodies trembled with emotion. The person they had been waiting for had finally arrived. Chapter 349, Get Down Now The potent Yuan power between heaven and earth rumbled above this arena just like clouds, while an exceedingly formidable Yuan power shock wave swept forth, causing several people in the crowds to stare in bewilderment. Who is that? Such a formidable aura, he should at least be at half-step to manifestation. Half-step to manifestation? In the entire Lin clan, the younger generation members who have reached this step can be counted on one hand. Who is that person? To actually match up with those Lin clan geniuses. Judging from the situation, he should be from the branch family. Such a talent could also emerge from the branch family. How is this possible? Countless pairs of eyes swept across the skies before they finally locked onto the young man hovering in mid-air. Instantly, incessant whispers among the crowd emerged. Is that... Lin Dong? He actually dared to show up. Seated on the Lin clan's stands, several younger generation members were huddled together. One of them was somewhat stunned as he stared at that figure hovering in mid-air. That person was Lin Chen and he had met Lin Dong before. Previously, he traveled together with Lin Ker to the Yan City Old Tomb to search for treasures. During that period of time, he had a few conflicts with Lin Dong as well. Therefore, he was able to instantly recognize him. Lin Dong? The branch family member that offended big brother Lin Lang Tian. When they heard his words, the surrounding sect disciples were all shocked before they promptly turned to look at the sky. Ha, that fellow is truly ignorant. After offending big brother Lin Langjian, he still dares to attend the family meeting. He just wants to embarrass himself. That's right. Compared to big brother Lin Langjian, he is not even an ant. As she heard their arrogant words, standing aside, a beautiful lady gently furrowed her eyebrows. That lady was Lin Ker. Right now, her head was lifted up while her beautiful eyes looked at that figure hovering in mid-air. She also never expected that Lin Dong would actually dare to attend the family meeting. That fellow is too reckless. Doesn't he know that during this one year's time, big brother Lin Langtian has improved by a terrifying extent? Lin Ker gripped her jade-like hands while her eyes were filled with anxiety. Now that he had shown up, Lin Langtian would definitely not let him off easily. The way that Lin Dong appeared was simply too overwhelming. In fact, even the elite practitioners from various factions scattered across the stands, turned their attention towards him. Countless pairs of eyes were continuously scanning across his body. He has finally shown up. Lin Langtian gripped on the teacup in his palm, while a ripple emerged in his teacup. Then, 
he gradually lifted his head as he stared coldly at that figure, before he gently flicked his finger on that teacup. Immediately, that teacup was ruptured into dust. In fact, even the tea inside the cup was directly ruptured thanks a stealthy force. There is a road to heaven yet you chose not to take it, there is no door to hell yet you choose to barge through. Since you have shown up, I shall let you go through what your father did previously. That figure that suddenly appeared in midair had undoubtedly became the center of attention in the entire arena. Everyone was whispering about him. Brother Lin Dong. Beneath the arena, Kington was smiling brightly as she stared at that familiar figure hovering in midair. Even after two years, his scent was still familiar to her. You lass, if I did not intervene, were you really planning to just stand there? Lin Dong's figure gradually descended from mid-air, while his eyes stared lovingly at that prim and proper young lady, before he involuntarily smiled and said. Hee hee, I knew that brother Lin Dong would show up. Kington smiled coyly, completely displaying her youthful and lively demeanor. Are you Lin Dong? That arrogant dumb shit. You actually dare to show up. This has exceeded my expectations. In midair, Lin Feng's eyes stared coldly at Lin Dong while he chuckled. Go back to father first. Let me take it from here. Lin Dong did not bother with Lin Feng's provocations, as he gently tapped Kington's head and spoke with a smile. Yes. Kington obediently nodded her head. Even though she knew that Lin Feng was very powerful, she had absolute faith in Lin Dong. When he saw that butterfly-like Kington coyly jumping off the stage, Lin Dong finally gradually turned around, before he glanced at Lin Feng, who was in mid-air. Are you deaf or what? Didn't you hear that I am talking to you? With regards to Lin Dong's attitude, rage gushed into Lin Feng's eyes. Promptly, he coldly shouted out. The dragon elephant overlord fist that was supposed to be directed to Kington suddenly started to rage, before it viciously flew towards Lin Dong. However, against his formidable attack, Lin Dong did not even bother to glance at it. Then, he intercepted it with his palm, before he directly blew apart that formidable dragon elephant fist in mid-air. When he saw that his all-out attack had actually been so easily dismissed by Lin Dong, Lin Feng's expression violently changed. It was until now that he realized he had underestimated the former. Nonetheless, Lin Dong did not give him any time to react. With a gentle smile, his figure moved before he directly flashed across the horizon like a puff of green smoke and appeared in front of Lin Feng. When he saw Lin Dong's phantom-like speed, Lin Feng hurriedly used his Yuan power to form a shield in front of him. Boom! However, just as that Yuan power shield materialized, Lin Dong's palm instantly ripped it apart. In the next moment, he directly gripped onto Lin Feng's throat. Defeating him with one move. Countless pairs of eyes stared at Lin Feng, who was now struggling in Lin Dong's arms. Instantly, the crowd suddenly turned silent while a tinge of shock flashed across several people's eyes. Right now, Lin Feng's aura was equivalent to a half-step to manifestation stage practitioner. However, he could not even handle a single attack from the former. At a secluded corner of the stands, Lin Zhentian, Lin Xiao, and the rest gasped in shock as they stared at this sight. A half-step to manifestation practitioner was practically a legendary existence. However, such a formidable practitioner could not even handle a single attack from Lin Dong. In the short span of two years, just how terrifyingly has Lin Dong became? You are still so useless even after you took a pill to forcefully squeeze out your potential. Lin Dong calm voice ricocheted across mid-air. Soon after, he waved his palm, before a crisp noise sounded out. Then, Lin Feng, who was in his arms, was directly blown away. While his body was ejected just like a cannonball, he violently vomited out a mouthful of fresh blood mixed with ruptured teeth, before he landed hideously in the middle of the arena. When they saw Lin Feng who had been instantly thrashed like a dead dog, a commotion instantly erupted in the arena. This was the first time that they ever saw a inner clan member being beaten so viciously. In the middle of the golden-colored stand, 
a white-haired elder in purple robes stared in shock at this sight. However, he did not speak at all. Nonetheless, though he did not speak up, several clan members could no longer hold it in. Immediately, an elder in grey robes stood up before he viciously shouted out, Kid, who are you? Don't you know the rules of this competition? Summon your family elders right now. Rules? When this man was using pills to force out his potential during the fight, why didn't you speak up? Lin Dong stared coldly at that elder with grey hair, before he said. You branch family member, how dare you speak to me in this manner? You are simply outrageous. After he was rebutted by Lin Dong, that grey-haired elder instantly raged. Then, his figure flashed, before his palm directly slammed against Lin Dong. Slap! However, even before that grey-haired elder could come within ten meters of Lin Dong, the latter once again waved his palm. Prompty, countless people in the crowd were bewildered when they saw that the clan elder was directly blown away by Lin Dong's slap, before he landed hideously on the ground. In my opinion, power reigns supreme. Branch family member or not, it doesn't matter. If anyone is unhappy come out and tell me just how noble you are. Lin Dong hovered in mid-air, while his eyes slowly turned towards the golden stand. At that area was the true elites of the clan. Lin Dong's words caused the crowd's expression to turn very interesting. After all, one needed a substantial amount of courage in order to speak so haughtily in front of the entire clan. Haha, <laughs> well said. Branch family or not, it does not matter. Power reigns supreme. In the golden seats, that white-haired elder gently smiled. However, he was not enraged. In fact, his expression was somewhat peculiar as he stared at Lin Dong. Little fellow, which branch family are you from? Lin Dong stared at that white-haired elder. The vibrations inside that man's body caused him to feel a peculiar oppressive sensation. It seems like he must be a pretty high-ranking Lin clan member. Yan City Lin family, Lin Dong. Lin Dong's voice was calm and he was not the slightest bit moved by his question. However, his answer was not that he was from the Yan City branch family, but rather the Yan City Lin family. He wanted everyone to know that Yan City Lin family was not beneath the Lin clan. Some clan member obviously understood the intention behind his words. Immediately, rage flowed in their eyes. However, because of what happened previously to that elder, for a moment, none of them dared to speak up. Furthermore, None of the elite elders have spoken as well. However, Lin Dong could not be bothered to deal with them. His eyes slowly turned before he finally stopped at a corner of the golden stand. At that spot, another figure was similarly staring back at him coldly. Two pairs of eyes crisscrossed in mid-air. Faintly, all the Yuan power between heaven and earth started to rage. In mid-air, Lin Dong's hands were behind his back. However, the calm words that came out from his mouth caused the entire arena to turn silent. Lin Lang Tian, get down now. Chapter 350 The Meaning of Arrogance Get down here. A calm voice exited Lin Dong's mouth, yet it reverberated throughout the dual arena like peals of thunder. Silence descended upon the entire arena. Even some elders within the clan stared in shock, their jaws gaping. This was the first time they witnessed someone from Lin Longdian's generation speak to him in such a manner. Given Lin Longdian's position in the Lin clan today, even some elders have to use an amicable tone when speaking to him. Who would dare to shout and yell at him, not to mention doing that before such a crowd? Who on earth is this Lin Dong? How dare he challenge Lin Longdian's dignity in the clan gathering? I mean he's the favored son of heaven. Let's not talk about his peers even some elders aren't a match for him. Yet. Lin Dong is way too arrogant. Although from the previous match he seems to have some capabilities, but how can he compare himself with Lin Langtian the favored son of heaven? Ha, I don't think this person is a reckless idiot. If he dares to talk like this, he must have some cards up his sleeve. To think that the clan gathering this time is gonna be so exciting. 
someone finally had enough and is gonna challenge Lin Longdian's number one position in the Lin clan. After the momentary death-like silence in the grand arena, countless exclamations and chatter broke forth in the crowd, merging into a terrifying wave of noise and spreading all over Lin City. The commotion caused by Lin Dong's words was simply too terrifying. Who was Lin Langtian? He was the number one genius of the Lin clan, who stood in the spotlight in the Great Yan Empire, in a league of his own. Few dared to compare themselves with him in the entire empire. Yet on this day, on the Lin clan gathering, he was challenged by a man from a branch family with such an overbearing tone. It had been many years since anyone had witnessed such a scene. No wonder tension erupted like a volcano in that arena. Everyone's eyes were filled with excitement and anticipation. What? Dong Yiar actually challenged Lin Langtian. In that remote corner, Lin Zhentian, Lin Xiao and the rest were similarly stunned by Lin Dong's words. Although they were clear that Lin Dong seemed to possess great strength presently, the pressure that exuded from Lin Langtian was simply too overpowering. Therefore, Yin they were skeptical that there was anyone who could be a match for this favored son of heaven. Lin Dong is trying to avenge your past humiliation. Lin Mang glanced at Lin Xiao before suddenly slapping his shoulder, laughing, you've got quite a son there. Ha <laughs> ha. That chap's got charisma. Standing aside, Lin Hong and Lin Xia's hearts beat with shock and excitement at such unparalleled gutsiness. It had been merely two years and yet they could sense Lin Dong's unmistakable and total transformation. A trifle dry in his mouth. Lin Dong stared at the youthful figure hovering in the air above. High eyes turned red all of a sudden and both his fists clenched tight. The words of that youth, spoken as he left home that year, still rang in his ears. The humiliation that his dad suffered shall be avenged by his son. He could only guess at the kind of training that the youth away from home, must have had suffered for the sake of those words. Perhaps he had had to hover many times on the edge between life and death. Dong Yar, Lin Xia raised his head and sucked in a deep breath, his eyes turning sour. At the same time, however, a look of gratification appeared on his face. Heaven was kind to him after all. With a son like that, everything had been worth it. Under countless gazes, Lin Dong, hovering on thin air, stared coldly at the figure seated on the golden seating booth. Lin Langtian remained expressionless his palm moving casually across the surface of the table, as if he had not heard Lin Dong's words. Lin Dong, watch your behavior. This is the Lin clan gathering, how dare you make a ruckus here? Get lost. A grey-haired elder seated next to Lin Langtian upon one of the golden seats shouted with a stern face. Lin Langtian enjoyed an extremely high position in the Lin clan. With his capabilities and popularity, he could very well become the next head of the Lin clan. Naturally, this fact enabled him to win supporters, among them including even some elders. Plainly, the one who had shouted was one such elder who possessed rather high authority and speaking rights in the Lin clan. Since he leaned towards Lin Langtian, he naturally attempted to prevent Lin Dong from affronting Lin Longtian's reputation. Lin Langtian, spineless scoundrel. Lin Dong exclaimed in a slow manner, ignoring the grey-haired elder and glaring at Lin Langtian. How dare you! The grey-haired elder slammed the table in anger and rose, about to attack but was stopped by the purple-robed elder in the middle, with his hand. Grand Elder, this fellow is too arrogant. Many of our Lin clan guests are here today, how can we allow him to make a scene, the grey-haired elder grumbled, clearly disgruntled by the purple-robed elder's intervention. Haha, <laughs> Lin Zheng, this Lin Dong counts as one of our clansmen too. Furthermore, looking at his strength, he obviously is extremely talented as well. If we suppress him callously, won't we lose the hearts of the branch families, the purple-robed elder replied jovially. When he heard the words of that purple-robed elder, that grey-haired elder involuntarily furrowed his brows, before he turned to look at a black-clothed elder seated beside him. Based on their actions, it seems like there was quite a bit of politics between the various Lin clan factions. No matter how talented he is, he is nothing compared to Lin Langtian. 
That black-clothed elder's eyes casually scanned across Lin Dong as he spoke. However, if he wants to challenge him, no one would object to that. Nonetheless, if Lin Langtian has to step in any time a random three-legged cat comes along and holler at him, wouldn't he be extremely busy? If he wants to challenge him, he must show that he possess the necessary qualifications. That black-clothed elder's words were not hidden. Hence, they calmly entered into Lin Dong's ears. What qualifications do I need? Lin Dong twinkly eyes stared at that black-clothed elder as he chuckled. He could see that old fart was clearly siding with Lin Langtian as well. It seems like he had a pretty strong network within the clan. Prove yourself worthy by reaching the final arena. This time, the one who spoke was the purple-robed elder, that even Lin Dong was slightly wary of. He was gently smiling as he pointed at the highest platform of that gigantic conical arena. Lin Langtian was the previous clan gathering champion. If you want to challenge him, he must first defeat the other clan members, before you can reach that stage. Besides, let me warn you first. This time around, there are three exceptional candidates. The first one is Lin Langtian, while for the rest of them, even though they are slightly weaker than Lin Langtian, they are considered geniuses as well. As for you, if you want to reach the final platform, you must go through the two of them. Lin Qing, Lin Mu. As that purple-robed elder softly shouted out, two extremely formidable aura instantly erupted violently in the middle of the arena. Promptly, two figure flashed, before two bodies appeared on two different platforms respectively. Lin Dong's eyes stared at the two of them, while his expression turned somewhat solemn. Both of them seemed slightly older than Lin Langtian. Even though their aura was weaker than his, they were both actually at half-step to manifestation. Furthermore, it seems like both of them were at the pinnacle of half-step to manifestation. In fact, with a little luck, both of them could easily bridge the final gap and advance to initial manifestation stage. It's no wonder the elder claimed that they were only slightly behind Lin Langtian. Besides, what stunned Lin Dong the most was that the two of them looked exactly the same. Obviously, they were twin brothers and they were connected by blood. In fact, even their aura faintly showed signs of fusion. If they joined forces, even an initial manifestation practitioner would have a slim chance of victory. This goes to show just how powerful they are. It is indeed the Lin Qing brothers. Pfft, that Lin Dong is simply too arrogant. Does he really believe that it will be so easy to challenge big brother Lin Langtian? The Lin Qing brothers are about to advance to initial manifestation stage and their strength is nowhere compared to garbage like Lin Feng. Wait till Lin Dong is defeated by Lin Qing brothers, then we will see if he still dares to challenge big brother Lin Langtian. Disgraceful. A branch family member dares to challenge the main clan. When the Lin clan's disciples saw the two of them, joy instantly surged into their eyes. Based on their expressions, it seems like they had already decided that Lin Dong would lose. Of course, it must be said that among younger generation members, the Lin Qing brothers only lost out to Lin Langtian. However, Lin Dong lifted his head, as he stared at the elders seated on the golden seating booth. Then, his figure flashed before he directly landed on the highest platform on the arena. Finally, he calmly said, There is no need to split it into two rounds, come at me together. Arrogant, ignorant. When Lin Dong's words landed, rage instantly swarmed into the main clan members' eyes, before they continuously chuckled. However, just as they chuckled, standing at the highest platform, Lin Dong gently waved his sleeves before his calm words once again sounded out. Within ten rounds, if the two of them still remain on the platform, it is my loss. After his words landed, even the expression of the elders, seated in the golden seating area, violently changed. Right now, the word arrogant could not even begin to describe him. Since you guys ask for my qualifications, let me show it to you.